Hi, I'm Jimmy Facing. I'm a lawyer with Facing Brooks Law Offices. So the last video that I did, I did it on how to settle a pre-suit case. That's a, that is a personal injury case that is resolved without going to court. And about two out of three of our cases end up getting resolved without going to court and about one out of three of our cases end up going to court. The way that it tends to work is insurance companies take your case a lot more seriously if you go to court. So on the more valuable cases, you probably want to go ahead and uh, go ahead and file a lawsuit and get into court early so that you're not delaying the process and trying to get a pre-suit settlement when the insurance company is really not going to take you seriously unless you have the leverage of the court um, of the possibility of a jury trial um, to help you with your negotiations. So how do you get a case settled once you've already filed a complaint? This is how it works. First thing you do is you file your complaint, uh, you file the lawsuit, you serve it on the defendant. The defendant will then have, once, once service is done, the defendant has 20 days to answer the complaint. Once you receive that answer within 20 days, at that point, you put in a motion with the court to set the case for a jury trial. That is important because the jury trial, the date of the jury trial is the most important motivating factor for an insurance company to take your case seriously. It motivates them because they know that once the jury trial comes up, they're going to have to spend a bunch of money to defend the case. They got to pay a lawyer to defend the case, sometimes several lawyers to defend the case. They got to spend money on experts. They got to spend all sorts of money. And the worst case scenario for an insurance company is to spend a whole bunch of money defending the case and then lose the case and then have to pay the costs of the plaintiff in prosecuting the case on top of the amount of the judgment for compensatory damages. So it's a complete nightmare for an insurance company to defend a case and then lose the case. So that's the leverage of going to court. So what do you do? You file the, um, you file the notice to set the case for trial and then at the court in, in Leon County and in, actually in most courts in Florida and we practice in Leon County, we practice in Duval County, in Orange County, Orlando. We practice really throughout Florida but we have offices in Tallahassee, Jacksonville and Orlando and most judges once you file a notice to set the case for trial will require you to go to mediation before they will give you a trial date. I think that's a little bit backwards. I like to get the trial date first because the trial date is a big important leveraging factor, but most of them will require you to get the mediation done first. Mediation is where you go to try to get the case settled. So mediation is where the plaintiff goes, that's, that's my client, the plaintiff goes, the defendant is also there sitting on the other side of the table. The defendant's insurance adjuster is also there and the defendant's defense attorney is there. And then there's a mediator there and that mediator is there to try to facilitate settlement negotiations. So what happens at mediation? You get there, the mediator gives you a little spiel about what is going to happen at the mediation. It just basically says a couple of important things. One, this is a chance to get your case settled. Number two, Everything that happens at mediation is confidential. What happens at mediation stays at mediation. There have been big cases about that where people have disclosed what happens at mediation and then the whole settlement got thrown out by the court because they went on Facebook or they told a friend about what happened at mediation and that was, that's just not, uh, it's improper. So. How do you get it settled at mediation? What is the strategy? What is the best way to do it? And now, of course, that has to be done on a case-by-case -case basis. But what I like to do is, I like I, it's important for me to establish a walkaway number before mediation. Because that walkaway number that you have, the walkaway number is the bottom line number that your client is willing to settle for as opposed to going to court. So I like to establish a walkaway number and then I like to give a initial offer. Uh, first of all, you present the case at mediation, you present the facts. Um, it's a, usually about a five to 10 minute talk. It's nothing big. It's not like actually presenting a case at a jury trial. 
But then after the, after the talk, the mediator will sep separate the parties into different rooms and the mediator will hop between one room and the other, passing back and forth settlement offers. Well, usually the plaintiff makes the first offer. If it's a lower policy limit, we almost always offer to settle for the full policy limit, which allows the insurance company the chance to either pay the policy limit or give a counter offer. If it's not a policy limit case, or if it's not a small policy limit, or if it's a big corporation that has no policy limit, then I like to do an offer that's really several times, um, or I would say three times, what I'm willing to settle for. Now, I don't do it the same way in every case. I just kind of feel it out for every case, but usually it's a good idea to make an offer at three times what you're willing to settle for because at mediation, insurance companies know that if there's a gap between your demand and their offer, that the most likely ending point, or at least that you're pretty much willing to settle for meeting in the middle. And so you don't want to just double down and, and offer to settle for twice what you're willing to pay or take because then they're going to try to slice that down. Then you're already signaling that you're willing to take half that and then they're going to work towards not paying the midpoint between the offer and the demand. So I like to triple down, um, at least triple down. Um, and then we go from there and I try to remain flexible. But then as the, media, as the mediation goes forward, I will adjust my strategy based on what sort of offers I'm getting. And then usually our offer is really high, their first offer is really low, and we start negotiating toward, toward the middle. But the first efforts at negotiation usually result in some small moves where nobody's really getting anywhere. But I keep moving, they keep moving. If the case is gonna settle, usually what happens is there are a bunch of small moves and then finally somebody says, look, I'm not gonna make any more moves like this. I'm not gonna play this game, do this dance anymore. And it's usually the defense that says, really the, the most we're willing to pay on this case today is X. And so the, the mediator usually comes into the, into the room and says, okay, um, they're not gonna do this dance anymore. The most they're willing to pay is X. At that point, it's important that I have a conversation with my client. First of all, I feel out the mediator to see if they're being sincere, if I feel like there's really some more room, if maybe they're bluffing. But then I have a conversation with my client and I'll say, well, what are you, or what are you willing to take? I've had the conversation before and we have already decided on a bottom line, but it's important to remain flexible. So next thing you know, um, we decide what we're willing to take and then we formulate a strategy where we do get down to a offer that is close to um, where the midpoint between the offer and the demand is where we want to end up. And then we start negotiating from there where if they increase their offer, we decrease our demand the same amount so that if we, if we do meet in the middle, we are where we want to be. So those are, that is just general, basic litigation negotiation strategy. Some cases we don't settle at mediation, but they end up settling before trial. Some cases we end up settling um, on the courthouse steps, which is usually a bad idea um, for several reasons. Some cases we end up settling a week after mediation or a couple days after mediation. Um, there are other techniques that we can use to get a case settled, but what I just described to you is about how about 75% of the cases get settled if they're in litigation. Um, thank you very much for your attention. I'm going to do another one on what they call a proposal for settlement, another video on what they call a proposal for settlement, which is another technique for getting a case resolved if it's in litigation. Thank you.